Are you frustrated with AI giving you vague and unhelpful answers? It's not always the AI. Sometimes it's how you're asking. In this video, I'll show you a simple framework of AI that can give you clear responses. To make it practical, I'll walk you through what you would need to do if you were maybe doing a PCS and trying to create a checklist. And make sure you stay till the end because I'll go over the worst AI training I've taken so far. Hey, I'm Dr. Liz Moyer, and I'd love to share resources that can help you. And this is one of my favorite resources shared by my good friend, Dr. JW. This is the prompt canvas. So if you're familiar with using LLMs like ChatGPT, Gemini, just go ahead, download this resource. I'll show you how to get there and then catch me for the next video. But if you'd like to see a pretty cool example, I'm going to walk you through it. All right, so how do you get here? I typed in the promptcanvas.com and you've got this awesome website and it's going to explain the importance of making sure you understand these four basic elements. All you got to do is click here. Uh, you can download and you can get the resource that I showed. So moving over, we're going to go to ChatGPT. And what we'll do is we were going to upload that resource. Perfect. And we'll just put that in. I haven't prompted it yet, but it's going to review it. And just gives me a summary. And I'm just going to say, I want to go through each step. This example will be specific to me as a military member moving, which we call a PCS. But of course, you know, everyone moves. So I do want to give a little bit of a prompt just to say, ask me each step in sequential order and allow me to answer. Let's see what it, let's see what it does. Perfect. We want to first look at, okay, well, what are we asking AI to adopt? Is this a military relocation expert? Maybe a lot of the questions that I have about this move are more so about finances or uh, I'm a spouse and I want to think about how my family is going to do during this. Or I just want someone that can have some brain bandwidth because the amount of decisions you have to make on a daily basis just sometimes stick. Sweet. So um, I really want to talk to someone that is a military relocation expert. I will say the other stuff is helpful for sure though. I am the active duty member. I am in the Air Force and married to another active duty Air Force. Boom. Let's see what it does. So there we go. Cool. All right, so it has decided the persona it's going to take on, and I've given it the role. I'm the one that's asking it as an active duty military member. Okay, so audience, who is this prompt intended for you for? Are you prompting for personal PCS planning or for broader use? I'm being selfish. Personal for today, maybe we do it for broader use in the future. Let's see. Yeah, I like this. This is tailoring. Task and intent. What specific PCS task do you care about? What's your intent? What is your goal? So it's given me some examples and I'm gonna say, I want you to include all of that. But I also have concerns about timing to like maybe leases and buying homes, things, right? There's just like specific stuff that you kind of think about when you're doing a PCS. Uh, are you EFMP or like, you know, my spouse is going to move earlier than me. And then what's the goal? Do I want to ensure a smooth mood, minimize stress, financial benefits, secure best housing? I'm going to say like um, really important, you know, to get a home and uh, loaner furniture is to move to DC and not be waiting for household goods for you know, forever. Cool. Let's keep going. It is thinking because it is overwhelmed by the fact that we have to move. All right. Complex timeline. Now it's going to ask for context, current assignment. Where are you located? Where are you going? The timeline. This is fantastic, right? All of these things are really helpful. So I'm going to say I'm in Oahu. I'm going to Andrews. I leave um, in June. Spouse leaves in March. We want to buy. Budget is 1.1 mil. Medical I am due in 
April. Uh, we're gonna do HHG, no storage, no pets. Um, school not worried right now, but still want it to be decent. And you can see what's great is I'm not a great typer, not a great speller, and it can still figure out what you're trying to do. All right, so it's gotten the clear context, and here we go. Format, do I want it bullet point, step by step, checklist, narrative, reading? Yeah, that's a hard thing. Um, I want bullet points, but I want it to be super detailed with explanation. And yeah, give me all the resources. Give me specific resources, websites, all the things. Yay, this is like looking legit. Um, and it's going through the recommended technique. So do I want to refine responses by asking follow-up questions? Do I want chain of thought prompting, emotion prompting? Oh, goodness, this is lots of, lots of choices. You know, maybe I'm like decision peak at this point. I'm like, I don't care, but I need it to help me because my brain hurts. And if you don't know, it's okay. You can change it later. This is all part of the process. We're just, we're interacting, right? We're talking, we're getting better insight. So it's going to draft my, what my PCS prompt is going to look like. All right. You are a military re relocation expert, assisting an active duty Air Force member with a PCS from Wahoo to Andrews Air Force Base. Member is pregnant due in April and their spouse is moving to March. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, this is pretty good. Um, would you like any modifications to this or just like capture your needs? I can say like, this is a good start. I will add more later. Yeah, I am ready for the next step. Create me my checklist. And it starts to create. Um, Ooh, I, re I really like this. Okay, so while this builds out, here's my question for you. Put in the comments, how would you use this? Would you use it for a PCS? Or would you maybe use it for something like your retirement or planning a large event? So this is our pretty long checklist. Of course, I can upload more resources too, which is fantastic. And then, you know, it's giving me that back and forth conversation where I sit there and go, oh man, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable about this area. You know, how can I dive in? All right, now my promise, right? We talk about learning AI, we talk about learning about prompting. Well, there is a course called Course Eve, and I'll show you real quick. It looks like this. It's typically being marketed or advertised, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. You take this little quiz and, okay, great. You are going to be an AI expert and you're gonna make money. Please don't do it. It is really a waste of time. It took me forever to get my money back. I actually had to include Better Business Bureau to do that. They do not care about you learning. Um, they're taking advantage of people who are trying to get better at AI and really I uh, just do not recommend. So shout out to the Prompt Canvas. I love that resource. I hope it will bless you. Once again, avoid Course Eve. And if you found this to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and share.